So guys, what's going on? It's been a while, huh? What, three, four weeks, something like that since I put a video up? Well, at least to you guys. <laughs> I'm at the point of putting the brakes on uh, this uh, Hyperion cart right now. Got my brake set up, caliper. And now I need to connect the wire to the lever. Now looking at the black marks on the wire, you can see right there, I've already measured this stroke out. And the handle pulls this in. It looks like it's about three quarters of an inch to an inch. So now I need to, now I need to figure out how I'm going to connect this to that. Now I can buy, you know, you can buy the clevis for this and all that kind of stuff, you know, and all the connections and stuff. But I don't have any of that. I thought I did, but I've been going around and finding a bunch of stuff. But I've going, been going around through my garbage and all my parts and everything like that and i think they got lost in the move man i can't believe how much stuff i lost when we moved here i just can't find anything I i'm missing like half of a torque converter well you know like the clamshell part that goes on the engine well i'm missing the flat piece that goes all the way up against the engine i can't find that so i can't find one of those and there's just a bunch of other little things that i just can't find but i did find something that's completely useless and that's this big chunk of key stock and I think it's a half inch or maybe it's nine sixteenths. I don't know, but it's big. I don't know where in the heck I got it from. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this thing up, drill some holes, and turn this into a clevis connection for the brake. See if I can make it into something useful. ka -ching! Okay, I made it into something useful. Well, I cut cut three three inches here and I drill the hole that would be equal to about the size of the pull rod and then I drilled three holes offsetting because the cable is going to run in between those three points underneath the sheet metal see the sheet metal right there so I'm going to try to weave the cable down inside of there and then tighten all three of these nuts or all three of these bolts and nuts see if this is uh, going to be worth a crap all right not too sure how long this is going to work or how long this is going to last but we'll find out won't we Now it looks like one bolt isn't going to quite reach it. So, this is what we're going to do. Okay. So, squeeze it. Squeeze it. All right, there's our clevis. All right, got all that connected. I put in this uh, scrap piece of steel here to hold the outside sleeve of the cable. Let me see that or not. And I uh, drilled a hole and then cut a notch in it and then slid the wire into there. And I've got my clevis here connected to the lower point because my throw is only about three quarters of an inch. And this throw up here is more than that. So I think the reason that they put on these two holes is for that reason and because you never know what kind of brake system you're going to be set up up here. And then, oh no, this is just all temporary, but then I got a bolt going through there, got the spring on the bolt and the bolt and the spring goes back to just a simple piece of quarter inch welding rod or quarter inch rod that I have sitting there and it seems to work okay. I don't know if it's... I'm kind of worried about the steel right here wearing through the cable, but I guess time will tell. Let me squeeze it some more. And of course, once I get this thing up and all assembled and together, I'll have to readjust this, especially when on the paneling and stuff like that gets on. I got my jack shaft welded into place uh bearings and stuff that go on there 
I'm gonna have to clean off my axle again. Because when I was when I welded this piece in here, I weld all splattered down onto my axle and onto the aluminum. Oh god. Yeah, so that's where I'm at on this. And on top of that, on top of that, I've also painted up a lot of the panels. Okay, you can see the motors out of it and all. I have everything painted except for the frame. So my next plan of attack is to take the axle off, everything apart, and well, I have to do the uh, the one inch bars that go on the axle. You know how I put all my spacers in my axle. So I have to do that and then uh, get all those things all painted up and then take it all apart, all this apart, and then paint up this because I've already got all the panels and everything else all painted. And man, you guys, I want to show them to you so bad, but I'm not going to. It's going to be a surprise. This is this thing. This is going to be so dang cool. Big time cool. And remember, it's going to look like something out of a game. It's going to look like it's a piece of industrial equipment that some guy can drive around on and a, a, a Hyperion engineer can drive around on. I don't know. I, I'm still kind of up in arms about I want to put some guns on the spindle areas, but I don't really know if I want to or not. I'm going to put it all together and, you know, just assemble it as is. And then I'll think about maybe putting the guns up here because literally everything that they've got has guns on it. Even though it's just a piece of equipment that, you know, is going to pick up logs or something. You know, the robots have guns, you know, just all sorts of crazy stuff. So, I don't know if I'm going to mount any guns on here or not. I'm going to wait until I get it all assembled and see what it looks like. You guys, I, I've, I've painted up these panels and everything. And wow, this is going to be one cool looking machine. Stay tuned. In about a week or so, maybe these videos are going to start coming out. Yeah, so be ready for them. This is a big endeavor that I've done. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.